some Jewish theologians have made the argument in denying the incarnation of Christ that the Lord had not made an appearance in the Hebrew Scriptures. One of the arguments they make is in relation to the angel of the Lord, as most Trinitarians will state that this is the appearance of a pre-New Testament Christ, but is dismissed by Jewish scholars as nothing more than a messenger on the behalf of the Lord. In turning to the earliest books of the Bible, we can find a few occurrences of this angel of the Lord appearing, as found with the skirmish between him and Jacob, the fiery bush of Moses, the appearance to Samson's parents, and many more occurrences where the voice of the Lord is heard and recognized as such. One of the most important visits, however, was to Abraham in Genesis 18. Let's turn to the scriptures. Genesis 18 verses 1 to 3. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lift up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door, and bowed himself toward the ground, and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Now as far as we can tell, for the sake of argument, this is not an appearance of a messenger of the Lord, but is the Lord himself. We know that the two men with the Lord were angels, as described in the next chapter, but we don't have any proof that this was anyone else but the Lord himself, as it never describes him as an angel or calls him the angel of the Lord. Let's read some more verses from chapter 18. Genesis 18 verses 9 to 14. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age. And it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure? My Lord being old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child, which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. In chapter 21, it says, And the Lord had visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken, but once again gives no mention to the angel of the Lord. We cannot assume anything of scripture other than what we are told. To say otherwise is dishonest. To finish off this point, God repeatedly showed himself within the Jewish scriptures and came in the flesh in the Gospels, which we will continue examining in future installments.